Hey guys, Wash here. Um, as you can see, I got a package today. It's my new um, Aquatic Life T5 high output um, light for the goldfish tank. I'm not sure how many watts it is, but it's going to be better than what I have now. So I'm going to start opening it. And if you can remember last time, I had trouble getting the actual fixture open when I got my fixture for the tropical tank. But now I know how to do it, so I'll be able to show you. Here it is. I'm going to move the box. So let's open it up on the end. On the box, it just has some some spectrum information. And there's some features. It tells you the type of bulbs. So this one has a um, 6,000K and a 650. I think that means nanometer. I'm not quite sure what it's called or how the measurements are, but. So yeah, so this is the cord, and then the fixture is right here, and it says that the legs are on the other end, so there it is, it says warning, legs must be used with the operation of this fixture. Well, I might not use the legs. Sorry, Aquatops or Aquatic Life, whatever you're called. So, those. I guess I actually have to open the other end. Okay. There they are. There's the legs. I'm going to discard this for now, but I might eventually use it as like a, a cover for my filters like I did on my um, tropical tank and spray paint and such. So to take the sleeves off the bulbs I have to open up the end opposite the switch and plug. Now, if you can remember on my light fixture on the tropical tank, I have a airline tube going in to supply fresh air. Um, I'm not going to do that on this because I don't want to have to spend the money on an air pump and drill the holes and stuff like that. It's just not worth it. Now, let me just uh, grab some screws down here. Okay. Okay, I got all four. Now this slides out. I'm actually going to leave the clear cover on this plastic piece. Um, I did on the other fixture and well actually I'll just take it off because it's not going to be exposed to water anyways. Now I'm not exactly sure why this looks so jagged. Oh, so there's two covers, that's why. Crystal clear. There's a little bit of dust on one of them, but I'll just rub that on my bed. Take those off. I'm just throwing everything on the floor. Now this is the 6000K 39 watts. So I'm going to assume that they're both 39 watts. So that's going to be about almost 2 watts per gallon on this tank. Let 
easiest to read the label on this. This is, is yeah, so this is this 39 watt as well. And it, um, it's, the, the one that's not 6000K is called, um, like, Roseate. It's, I think it's just a fancy name for a bulb with, like, a reddish hue. I think it just helps um, certain plants get the right color spectrum. Now let's just put this back on. going to try the light without the legs and see what it looks like because the one thing I wasn't expecting on my tropical tank is so much of the light being diffused around the tank and like lighting up the room and I really don't want my whole room to be lit up by this so I'm going to use, try it without the legs first and if I eventually want to add the legs, I can. But if I do decide to add the legs, I'm not going to do that in this video. Because otherwise this video will be 20 minutes long. And I know you guys really aren't that interested in watching a long video like that. I wish I had time-lapse photography, but I just don't have editing software right now. I'll glue that one on. So now I will unplug this light fixture and as you guys know I have night lights in here for when the main light turns off and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to have those because I just don't know how to work them into it, this new fixture or making something else to go like next to it or anything so I'm not going to have that anymore. Light fixture coming off. So there's the old one. It's kind of wet from the air pump, but that's just fine. And then I also have one of these adapters because my timer is only two prong, it's not grounded. So you guys all know what, the, what those are. I'm gonna try it. Um, no, I'll just leave it off right now. so much more vibrant and hopefully I'll be able to get some nicer plants in here and get them growing nice and green and tall and big and bushy and awesome so thanks for watching guys um, I might eventually add the legs I'm not quite sure but um, stay tuned for more updates on my tanks um, Thanks for watching, subscribe, rate, um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up, um, comment, tell me how you think I'm doing with my tanks, anything you would personally do to make them look even more awesome or anything 
you want to tell me in general any feedback. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time.